Alright guys, I'm Sloth and Brooke and welcome back to my vlogging channel. So I am currently just at uh, this um, plane spotting place that's in the airport with Shep's Mound. It's really good for plane spotting. I would suggest you to come here if you love um, plane spotting at Sydney Airport. So we're just doing some plane spotting right now because during this virus there's all different airlines coming in and all that type of stuff. Like really interesting airlines that never really fly to Australia. So it's just good to see. Um, yeah. Um, otherwise as well, this will be a vlog. This won't be on my main channel, but this is just going to be like a bit of a vlog. But yeah. Hi guys, so it is a few weeks later. I'm sorry about that. It's just because I've been really busy with school. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch up with some relatives of mine and I'm going to head to this place called Watson's Bay. We're just going to have a little walk around um, there because it has a really good view of Sydney Harbour, like with the city and all that. It's, um, what, this place called Watson's Bay is quite close to um, Bondi Beach. Um, I think you guys would know Bondi Beach. It's very famous in Australia and also iconic around the world. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have some lunch at our relative's house and then I'm going to um, walk. We'll, well, I should say we're all going to um, go to this place called Watson's Bay. You'll be able to see Sydney Harbour. We'll be walking, um, walking along a beach. And we might be doing some more exploring after um, that as well. So, yeah. So we made it to Watson's Bay. Surprisingly, there is a lot of people there. Good atmosphere, but um, yeah, we're still going to be careful because of this virus. We don't want to spread it to anyone, even though we, um, ha I haven't got it and no one in my family has it. But we just got to be careful who we are in contact with. So I have a feeling this was used during World War I and World War II to get all their enemies off, like, so they would shoot them with this. So this is very historic, at least 100 years old this was built. And all this sandstone here that we're walking on is 100 years old too, so it's very historic. Absolutely stunning views of Sydney. It's absolutely amazing. One of the best cities in the world, in my opinion, to live in and to visit as a holiday. I'm very glad that I live here and yeah. So we've done a really beautiful walk and ended up at this lighthouse right here. Say hi mum, you in the way. Yeah, and it's been really, really, really good. And um, we've got some good um, photos and pictures. So um, this is like a cannon spot um, built b before World War I because they were worried that um, other countries were going to invade Australia. But yeah, and it was also used in World War II, I think. Oh, 
along down here, there was a bomb shelter for during war. We're going back down the hill. I'm going to go and get a gelato because it's quite a hot day and it's actually August still. So in August in Australia, it's currently winter. So it's currently winter, but it's 26 degrees today. So it's quite hot. Uh, so it's a few days later. I'm gonna go to this place today called the Royal National Park of Sydney. So it's a national park, probably the biggest national park in all of Sydney, as we've got a lot in Sydney, um, national parks in Sydney. Um, but it's very famous, um, it's a very big tourist site, it's got a lot of famous sites and that. Um, so we've been late since we can't go overseas and that and out of state due to this um, virus. So um, what we're going to do is we've been exploring Sydney a bit more. So that's probably been our like little tourist um, thing, like a little holiday. But we haven't really stayed at any hotels yet. Hopefully even when stuff even get better, we'll stay at a hotel. But anyways, let's come and explore some more parts of Sydney with me and go to the Royal National Park today. Look at the little mummy and daddy with their little baby ducklings, so cute. So we just made it to this little place um, where you have to walk to this beach yeah, and yeah it's really cool, just look really peaceful it's got a nice little waterfall and that and creek really cool wow look at this i'm gonna have to jump down here to get a good photo Oop, there we go and i'll just jump down a little bit further oh there we go wow look at this So this place we are at, Watamala Falls. There's that waterfall we have been waiting to see for. We might go down here, it looks quite good. guys it's Lachlan Brook. What I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to go to this little town barrel plus two I'm actually on school holidays right now which is really good so I, in this video you'll see me we're just going to explore Sydney a bit more as kind of acting like we are on a little bit of a holiday. Um, Australia's handled um, coronavirus quite well so it is really good I think over here currently um, but it is safe so we can travel and that but we still have to follow like rules and that like hand sanitizer maybe wear mask in certain places and that
Alright, so we've got a one hour road trip to go, so we've got to do a one hour road trip and we'll be down there, so I'll see you in the car. Alright guys, so we have made it to Barrel, and it's a really old town but it's really, really nice. We're just gonna explore. We're gonna get an early lunch, as um, like what um, because of um, these Dutch flowers that um, the tulips that are growing um, down here, like that are here right now, I should say. Um, a lot of people from Sydney are gonna be here, and it's gonna be a big rush hour. So we've gone here early, and we're gonna have lunch here early, so we don't have to get in a big queue and that. We're currently in this really really nice homeware store, and look at these flowers. They almost look real. They're really that cool. So we have this nice patisserie right now, and it's called Gum Nut Patisserie. And we're gonna get some pies, and we're gonna get some cakes too. We'll or even if we don't, we're just going to have a look. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. And you have to line up because it's quite popular. So that's the patisserie right there and the Grand Hotel's there. So we made it to this really nice garden and we found the tulips and we've also found cherry blossoms because it's currently spring in Australia. Absolutely stunning. Look at all these tulips. Tell tulips, can't say it properly. Then look over here. Absolutely stunning. Look at the pathway, they are like shaped as tulips. So cool. You go straight down. So pretty. So we're going to this place here, Flitzroy Falls Visitor Centre. Alright, so we have made it to Flitzroy Floor Falls. Now, if you don't know what it is, it's actually like a um, place. It's a Royal National Park, kind of, and it is about, um, it's got a huge waterfall, and that's why it's named Flitzroy Falls. There's quite a, a lot of people here. It's, it was just in the middle of nowhere. This Royal National Park um, just pops up. So, in order to get to the waterfall, you have to walk a little bit, and you have to go through this cent um, what's the name, visitor centre. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, sorry I had to end it there, but otherwise please subscribe, social media pages are down below and I'll see you later, bye.